everyone. Welcome back to We Wild Ones on the Web. I'm Alex, and I'm here at the Museum of Natural History in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Are you ready to get started? Let's go! If you love nature and you know it, clap your hands. If you love nature and you know it, clap your hands. If you love nature and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you love nature and you know it, clap your hands. If you love nature and you know it, squeak like a mouse, squeak, squeak. If you love nature and you know it, squeak like a mouse, squeak, squeak. If you love nature and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you love nature and you know it, squeak like a mouse, squeak, squeak. If you love nature and you know it, ribbit like a frog, ribbit, ribbit. If you love nature and you know it, ribbit like a frog, ribbit, ribbit. If you love nature and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you love nature and you know it, ribbit like a frog, ribbit, ribbit. If you love nature and you know it, roar like a dinosaur, roar. If you love nature and you know it, roar like a dinosaur, roar. If you love nature and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you love nature and you know it, roar like a dinosaur, Roar! Great job, we wild ones. Welcome to the museum forest. It's hard to tell by looking behind me, but it's really cold outside right now. The season that we're in is called winter. That's right, winter. What do you do in wintertime to keep warm when you're playing outside? That's right, we need to wear a nice warm coat, a hat, mittens, something around our neck to keep our chins warm. We'll probably need snow pants and big winter boots to keep our feet dry. I like to warm up with hot chocolate. Do you like to warm up with hot chocolate too? Do you think animals keep warm in wintertime the same way we do? That's right, they don't. Nova Scotian animals do all kinds of different things in winter. Some travel far away, far to the south where it's nice and warm in the wintertime, like whales and butterflies. Some animals grow thick coats of fur, like wolves and coyotes. And some animals keep very active, like squirrels. Pretty interesting, huh? I think so too. Now it's time for us to watch a special puppet show where we can learn more about what animals do in winter. Hi, a squirrel. Hi, mouse. How was your day? Oh, my day was just wonderful. I got up at the crack of dawn, ran up and down some trees, brushed my long, fabulous tail, and gathered the rest of my food for the winter. Have you gathered all your food yet? yet. I really should get started, but I'm afraid I've been putting it off. I just can't stand the thought of all that work in those long, cold, dark months. <sighs> oh, come on, Mouse. Winter can be really fun. And you know, it's not only animals like us who have things to do to get ready for the colder weather. No? Of course not. Haven't you ever wondered what all the other animals are doing when we're busy gathering nuts and acorns? Think about it. Anyway, speaking of nuts, I've got to run. Got lots more to do before the sun goes down. See you later. Wow! Squirrel made a really good point. I haven't really thought about what all of the other animals are doing while I'm getting ready for winter. Hmm, I guess I should have paid better attention. Hello, Mouse. Oh, hello there, Butterfly. Where did you come from? Why, I thought I'd swoop in and say goodbye to you before I leave for the winter. Leave for winter? Why would you want to do that? Well, Mouse, some animals like butterflies and birds, and even some animals like fish and whales, choose to go someplace warm for the winter. When they do this, it's called migrating. Really? I never knew that's what happens in winter. But what happens when winter is over? Well, when winter is over, all of those animals come back for the summer. Wow, that sounds great! I wish mice migrated to warmer places. It would save me from having to gather all that food. Well, it's not all fun and games, Mouse. Butterflies have to fly almost 100 miles a day sometimes, and it can take us almost two months to get where we're going. 
By the time we get there, we are exhausted. Anyway, I really should get going. I've got a long trip ahead of me. Have a good winter, Mouse. Bye, Butterfly. Wow, gathering food is starting to look not so bad after all. Hello, Mouse. How are you today? I'm doing all right, Turtle. But I don't know if I can say, say the same about you. You look, uh, cold. That's because I am cold. Since, ever since the cold weather started, I've had a hard time keeping myself warm. Oh, no. Well, do you want a blanket or something? No. Uh, hot chocolate? No, 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 that won't help. Turtles are cold-blooded, you see, which means that we can't warm ourselves up by moving around, using a blanket, or drinking something warm. We have to rely on how hot or cold the air is. And right now, I am freezing. I am so, um, I'm, I'm, I'm off to hibernate for the, for the winter. Hibernate? What's that? That's right. It's when animals like turtles, snakes, bears, and b b bats fall into a very deep sleep and stay that way for the entire winter. We stay very still for months and use very little energy. Wow, that's pretty cool, Turtle. Yes, and speaking of cool, I must be off to find a nice place to settle down for the long, cold winter. See you later, Mouse. Bye, Turtle. <laughs> wow, imagine sleeping through an entire season. I can't even sleep through a whole night sometimes. Why, hello there, Mouse. Oh, hello, Fox. What are you up to? Are you getting ready to hibernate for the winter, too? Hibernate? Nope, not me. Well, then, are you getting ready to migrate somewhere warm for the winter? Uh, nope, I don't migrate either. I stay around here for the winter. Oh, so you must be busy gathering food like me. Still nope. I don't need to gather my food at all. In the spring, summer, and fall, I like to eat lots of fresh fruit and bugs. But in the winter... When things are scarce, I adapt and settle for eating other things. What sort of other things? Oh, you know, birds, fish, squirrels, and mice. Yee! Did you say mice? Uh, oh, look, at the time, I, uh, I really must be off. Goodbye, Fox! Hmm. Must have been something I said. Bye! Hi, Weed Wild Ones. It's Brahma with the Shubenacadie Wildlife Park. We hear you're learning about animals in the winter time. We have a few amazing animals that love winter in the wildlife park. Let's go find them. Come on. Hi, Weed Wild Ones. My name's Katie. I'm here at the Shubenacadie Wildlife Park. I hear you're learning all about animals in the winter time. Well, today I thought I would share with you some of our favorite animals here at the wildlife park. Do you know what animal is behind me swimming in the pool? It's our river otter. River otters love to go swimming all year round. Do you see that ice in the pool? We've broken it open for her so that she can go swimming all year round. Would you go swimming in the pool in the winter time? No, it would be too cold for us. But river otters have a really cool adaptation. They have a very thick fur coat. Do you see her brown shiny fur? That keeps her nice and warm so that it keeps the cold water out. Hi we wild ones. It's Bryce here and it's a snowy day here at the Shubenacadie Wildlife Park. I'm here in the Arctic Fox enclosure and I'm going to teach you guys about Arctic foxes in the winter. In the winter, they change their fur color from a dark gray to a white that helps them blend in with the snow. That's called camouflage and it helps keep them nice and safe. They also have short stubby legs, short ears, and fur, and that helps them to keep body heat. And they need the body heat because they are from the Arctic. It's very, very cold up there. They also use dens like this one to help keep them nice and warm. It's kind of like their house. You guys might use blankets to keep warm at home. 
Hi, we wild ones. My name is Tabitha, and I'm here at the Shubenacadie Wildlife Park with one of my favorite winter animals. Can you see her in behind me? She's a snowshoe hare. She's white because it's winter, and that way she can blend in with the snow, which is called camouflage, and it helps keep her safe. She also likes to hide in bushes and trees like she's doing right now, holding nice and still so a predator can't see her. In the summer, she'll turn brown, and that way she can blend in with her surroundings again and still stay safe. They don't dig holes like rabbits do. She's a snowshoe hare, so she likes to stay on top of the ground and hiding in the bushes and using those big feet like snowshoes to stay on top of the snow. Hi, we wild ones. My name's Katie. I'm here at the Shubenacadie Wildlife Park. I hear you're learning all about animals in the winter time. Well, today I wanted to share a few of my animal friends with you. So here we are in the barred owl enclosure. So these owls are called barred owls and that's because they have these bar stripes all over their belly and their chest. And they're brown and white and that helps them to be camouflaged in the winter time against the forest trees. Can you see their feathers? Those feathers also help them fly nice and quietly as they sneak up on their prey. Prey are the things that they eat, like mice and other small rodents. Welcome to the museum backyard. For today's activity, we're going to be playing Winter Nature Senses Bingo. Do you know what our five senses are? Let's count them together. Sight, sound, touch, smell, and taste. We're not going to be tasting anything today because it's not safe to taste things that we find in nature. Are you ready to get started on bingo? Let's go! Wow, we wild ones, we already found animal tracks. Let's take a closer look. These tracks look like a slingshot or a fork. These are the tracks of a bird. Great job, we wild ones. I've been looking for a pine cone on our bingo sheet. I was looking on the ground, but the snow is covering everything that fell down. Instead, we need to look way up. There's all kinds of pine cones in this tree. Great job, everyone. Look at this amazing tree, we wild ones. There's all kinds of things on our bingo sheet here. This is a tree with no leaves. The bark is very rough. And it's covered in a moss called a lichen. Great job, everyone. Look, everyone. This is a big rock with a smooth, flat surface. We found another piece of our bingo card. Great job. Great job playing Winter Nature Senses Bingo with me. We've been playing in our museum backyard. You can play in your backyard too. But if you don't have a backyard, you can play at any park or even here at the museum. See you on our next adventure, we wild ones. Well, we wild ones, this is the part of the program where it's time for us to say goodbye. Can you remember what we learned about today? That's right. We learned all about what animals do in wintertime. Together, we watched a special puppet show. Then we visited our friends at the Shubenacadie Wildlife Park. And then we did a scavenger hunt on Winter Nature Bingo. If you'd like to play Winter Nature Bingo too, you can get the sheet from our website at naturalhistory.novascotia.ca. Until next time, we wild ones, see you again.